Thank you very much, Lillian. One year ago today, tonight in fact, an EF3 tornado ripped through Fultondale and Center Point in Jefferson County. It touched down just after 1030 at night and we were shocked when we saw the damage. Uh, so many of you will remember this, the Hampton Inn just off I-65 in Fultondale torn apart. This is video from Air 42. You can see right in those hotel rooms. And the storm also destroyed homes uh, after it moved through neighborhoods in Fultondale. Fultondale High School also damaged. And then the tornado moved through Center Point before lifting in 15 minutes. That storm killed a Fultondale teenager uh, seeking shelter in the basement with his family and injured more than 30 people and so many people left homeless. And one of the people we talked with in the hours after the tornado is here with us, uh, Fultondale uh, Fire Chief um, Justin McKenzie. And I'm so glad you're here with us one year later, Justin. Good morning. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been a year, isn't it? It, it has. Uh, it, it's been a long year. No doubt, no doubt. Um, the, the, the teenager who died seeking shelter in the basement touched all of our hearts. The loss there was great. Um, and so many others injured. One man we learned about had an infield amputation. A team from UAB went out there and amputated his leg to rescue him. He was shielding his family. How are these families doing today? Uh, our latest update, you know, they're doing as well as possible. Obviously, you'll never recover fully for what happened. It was a devastating night that you know everybody faced uh, in Fultondale, and those families are still recovering now. Uh, so many emotional scars to heal from, physical scars too. The neighborhoods, are people, when you drive through the streets of your town, what do you see as far as rebuilding? Uh, some of the houses are being rebuilt, um, land still being cleared. There's still debris out there from the tornado. Really? Um, and some people just aren't coming back. Really? They've, they've moved in with family or they're relocating now? That's correct. Um, the houses have been demolished. Um, some of them are still standing. Uh, and that's something we'll have to be working on this year. Update us on the high school. Um, you know, there was a, a touching story that came out of the baseball team played at Regions. Uh, because they didn't have a field to play on. How is that uh, progress going? That's correct. Going? The students are now going to Warrior uh, for school, for the high school. The new high school is being built, uh, and then we have another school building that will be rebuilt here shortly. You all will never forget uh, the folks in the fire department, the police department, neighbors, what you saw that night. You're not strangers to tornadoes. You had one in 2011, as so many communities did. How do you all process what you saw one year ago in your town? Uh, it's it's hard to process and when it happens you just go to work and you don't think about it just keep on trying to help people that we can and go on to the next day did you have firefighters who had homes damaged in this tornado uh, our fire chaplain was actually trapped in his house as really? well with his family and who who rescued him were you all there or did you find this out after the fact i found it out after the fact he was able to self rescue uh, and then wow. i had no idea that you know they were stuck what are the needs in Fultondale of those families? Is there any way we all can help watching? You know, so many times we'll remember the anniversaries, um, but is there still a need for, for things there that we can help with? Uh, the biggest need now is just self-preparation. I mean, just as our Fultondale citizens learn that you need to be ready yourself. You can't always count on other people to be able to come in and help. Make sure that you have your weather radios, your phone apps ready to go. Don't depend on the tornado sirens. Right. You need to make sure you're ready yourself. Right, and that is such sage advice as we move into, begin to move into the springtime. And hopefully we don't see another one like that. So uh, Hopefully not. Chief McKenzie, great to have you here this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll be right back here on the CBS 42 Morning News.